Hey, it's Robert Earl, the U of Earl.com, and we're working on a squeeze page funnel and doing a little funnel stacking. And the purpose of this video is to show you how to do your email notifications afterwards. Uh, so I see a lot of folks that are putting together because I'm funnel hacking other funnels as I sign up for uh, their newsletter and then they bump me instead of bumping it to a thank you page uh, what they're really doing is uh, uh, sending it along to a sales page so let me go ahead and, and get into uh, click funnels uh, show you what I'm talking about there from that standpoint um, so when we go into the actual um, funnel we have an opportunity to go into the automation um, my first page in, on the uh, funnel that we're going through would be a uh, squeeze page, a landing page where I'm asking for the email. Uh, the next step of it, I actually have an offer uh, that somebody would be able to uh, view. So we'll let that load up uh, so you can see the information on here, um, video that goes into it, and then the offer page uh, as well so that they'd be able to uh, do the offer and the bump up. Now, I've already captured the individual's email, and I want to be able to send them a message that says, hey, you got the original newsletter or the free report that I'm sending out. Uh, but now, if they've actually taken action on the next page, I want to be able to send them the uh, additional product that they added in. And what I see a lot of folks doing uh, with the base system is they're going in, I believe they're going into the automation and they're going into what was purchased. They're making a decision based upon the trigger of events that on the uh, second page, this is the, the one-time offer page, that they're actually going in and they are creating an email and that email would get sent out at that time because somebody had actually taken action and purchased. One of the difficulties with that is there's an upsell page as well that gets stacked on top of it. And if they happen to decide to do the upsell, now as a consumer, somebody that's utilizing this funnel, I've gotten three emails. I've gotten the original email that came out for the newsletter. I got a second one because I had actually purchased the guide in this, play, this case. And then the third step is me actually going for the course um, because there's an opportunity on this particular page for them again to see a video to have an upsell that goes on and be able to uh, add uh, the course that goes right on there to the same credit card information that they added in. Uh, stacking these funnels up, doing the upsell, and to make things a little bit more complicated as well, uh, we also have a... Um, uh, a downsell opportunity that's there. So again, I could send the multiple emails and that way I would make sure that individuals got it, got the information. Or if I do have the advanced version, let's go over to Actionetics and let's look at how this is starting to incorporate together. And you're going to see me do some videos about active campaigns, a very active with using active campaigns on another website. Uh, but now as I start to dive into click funnels and do some funnel hacking, uh, I'm, I'm seeing the power of this. So uh, just right now, I have a list that's set up. Everybody would go into the one list. Uh, so every whether they had only signed up for the newsletter, the guide, the course that I'm offering, or the coaching, whichever one of the four options that they did, they're all going to go on the exact same list. When I go to do the follow-up email that is given to them, I have the ability, I've just used a base template here, I have the ability to go down here at the very bottom of this and add a rule. And let's talk about what the rules are in here. And one of the rules options that you're able to do would be based upon the product that they bought. So in this particular case, you'll see that I've got a retail version and the funnel version because uh, I do have an order page that I could direct people to in the email that would say, hey, this is available for $149, but if you go through the funnel, you get a special one-time offer. So trying to drive some traffic 
topic back uh, to the uh, discounted price, uh, but make them feel special it, it, versus an individual just stumbling upon my website and hasn't gone through the targeted direction. Um, they may be able to get the item for retail. But this first email I want to set up is if they set out uh, signed up for the coaching, I want to be able to add that rule that they bought the coaching, whether it be uh, this particular coaching or the retail coaching, um, they're going to get a specific email. And now I'm kind of stacking the emails. And this particular email, if I went into the settings, it would, it would have uh, the email coming from me. The subject would be something along the line of congrats for investing in yourself via Chamber Secrets Coaching. Now in another video I'll cover about the membership aspect of it um, that's also incorporated in so that I make sure that uh, the different levels are there. But again, I don't need to do that by tags. I can do that based upon the product that they bought and having the incorporation in there. So if I update this particular email, this email would go out to individuals that had bought this particular product. Um, they're also going to, in the body of the email, I'm going to give them access to the information that was in the newsletter, the information that was in the guide, the information that's in the uh, coaching program, and the course. I would want to also then put in another email here because this is, uh, I have it set that it would go immediately. Uh, so I'm going to add another step, and this is going to be immediately, and this step is going to be. Uh, purchased course because they only were to the level that they purchased the course um, this is going to be sending an email that again could go out right away um, I'm just going to choose and use a particular template that's on here um, be able to go down here and add the rule and for this particular email this is going to go out to people that w bought the either the retail course or adding another rule that goes into it that the product was for them buying the regular course. So I'm stacking the emails um, that are going in here um, and this again would have just a different subject that would say um, congrats on the course. You get the idea of what we're going in here. So it gives you the, op uh, the opportunity to kind of stack the emails that are in here. On day two, most of them are going to get the same email or I could do the same type of thing um, by controlling what they go into. The flexibility is sometimes what gets you in trouble um, where you really have to sit down and map it out beforehand. Do I want them to be in different lists or can I have them in one list? Because by the time I get to about day five or six in the emails, um, I can uh, do a couple different things. I can lump them all together because they're all going to get a weekly newsletter uh, from now on. Uh, so I want to be able to get them grouped together and be able to do a broadcast. In the interim, I want to be able to target um, those that didn't buy the course and give them offers to be able to go back to the funnel and, and drop them back in for a uh, turn a one-time offer into a multiple-time offer. So if you've got questions on any of this information, uh, check out our Facebook page, uofearl.com, the University of Earl, um, uh, or our website, uofearl.com. Um, I'll keep updating some information as we work through this. Um, if you do not have ClickFunnels and you're wondering how to go through this, um, this one program alone is going to save me uh, about $1,000 of other packages that I'm unwinding from and being able to work within here. I've worked with ClickFunnels. Uh, uh, below this video, you'll be able to get a link uh, for a 14-day free trial, and you can be up and running, creating a course, and, and uh, being able to offer for that for sale. Uh, so until next time, make it a great day.